here to rent it out to ourselves. Yup, spent 10 bands. <laughs> what is up welcome or welcome back to another vlog i am janessa danielle as y'all saw i just came back from seeing beyonce's new movie in the movie theaters and it was so good like that woman is amazing it was a 10 out of 10. it felt like i was at the concert honestly like, that movie was long though it was like it was about three hours long two hours and 50 minutes it was long but i really enjoyed every bit of it so i didn't mind it was it was really good it was it was cool i just walked in the house it is 1 59 it's 2 in the morning but that's only because i was sitting in the car talking to my cousin the whole night i'm tired i'm about to get ready for bed i really enjoyed my night tonight it was definitely needed oh y'all see the hair new color yeah i'm in love like it is so cute and i just um retwisted my hair today i didn't style it or nothing because i was rushing i was rushing earlier and i still had the clips in my hair when we got in the car so i just took them out and just left it down but i'm in love this is definitely the color i wanted it to be um a little brighter orange and i wanted to um cover my whole head but i ran out of dye and so i couldn't like really get all of my roots as you can see like i only got this part right here so i'm definitely gonna have to go back and make sure i get my roots but now i have to wait i still like it it's still cute i i, I like it for real i did start making a video of me dyeing my hair but i don't know if i'm gonna post it since my hair didn't come out how i wanted it to it was going to be a whole separate video of me just dyeing my hair but i might just incorporate it in this vlog i don't know yet um if i do i'm gonna enter the clip here so the goal is to dye my locks the color of like a a reddish orange color maybe like a ginger copper i'm gonna be using cream of nature dyes i have burgundy blaze and then light golden blonde hopefully i can achieve that look with both of these colors we'll see i don't know but i know y'all probably looking like where's the locks at they are underneath this little headband wig i just got off of work and i've been procrastinating on dyeing my hair so i'm like i might as well dye my hair before i get in the shower so that's the plan i'm about to take this wig off and prep my hair for it to be dyed all right y'all the hair is out i'm about to part it and put it into four sections I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about dyeing my hair. This is not the first time I've dyed my hair. I've dyed it twice before, but this is the first time I am dyeing my hair since I've had it since I've had it locked. The first time I dyed it, I had loose natural hair. And then the second time I dyed it right before I was getting my locks done. So this isn't my first time and every time I've used cream of nature dye. So ever since that's the only dye I've used because I have, I've never had any problems with it. But I don't know, like I'm just still nervous. I hope my hair is okay. <laughs> I don't know if both boxes have the same things inside of them. I'm about to see. Uh, we are gonna open the light golden blonde first. The developer. This is the hair color. This is the conditioner that goes on last. And this is the High Live Booster Blonding Powder. Is that like bleach? Mm, that just made me a little bit even more nervous. So I gotta cut the tip off of this. Pop off. Color inside. I'm gonna grab a glove and then shake it up. That's it. 
and pour all of that in my bowl. Now we're going to open up the burgundy glaze. It's kind of a, the same, but it's kind of different. All right, now I'm about to mix it in with the blonde hair, with the blonde hair color. I don't know if it's looking real red. Let's start the first section. I'm going to do all my ends first and then come back and do the roots. I'm scared. I'm scared. If worse comes worse, I'll have to cut all my hair off, but hopefully we don't get to that point. I don't really think it's going to come out the color that I was hoping for. I don't think it's going to come out that orange color that I wanted. I think it's going to come out very burgundy. You know what? It's all right. Cause I look good with burgundy hair too. all of my roots i can't even see i was able to get like the front but i'm pretty sure there is some more pieces some more parts in the back that i did not get to i honestly think my hair is not going to be no orange i feel like the burgundy and the blonde was going against each other and the burgundy one the blonde didn't even try i don't see no type of blonde my hair is gonna be red but i'm about to cover this up and let it sit for 25 minutes and show y'all the ending results all right y'all the 25 minutes is up i'm nervous but it's time for this to come off still look the same red it didn't take a lot in my roots <laughs> i guess it's a cute color or whatever this is not what i was expecting but you know what i can always do a touch up color later on let me show you on the back probably did not get all my roots but i'm about to go wash this color out and then i'll show y'all okay boom present me is back as y'all can see the dye tricked me because i could have sworn it was going to be that burgundy pinkish color but it ended up coming out the color that i wanted it to because i thought i was tripping for a second i'm like i don't know why i listen to these people thinking that that burgundy and blonde was going to make an orange color i don't know but it really did so now i'm happy definitely going to redo it again touch it up and make sure it come out a little brighter and that i get my whole head like all my roots because yeah I'll give y'all another look like new hair <laughs> who this i know but this makeup off because Woo! i swear this the that's the best part when when you just got home from a long day just taking your makeup off I think I'm gonna be vulnerable for a sec. I don't know. I didn't really want to speak on it or get into that. I don't even know if I'm even gonna post this clip in my vlog. I'm just recording right now. But lately, I've just been doing my makeup a lot, like more than I usually do. And that is because I am trying to cover up the scars and sores that I have on my face. And the reason why I have sores and scars on my face is because a few days ago, I was in a car accident. So as you can see, my eye is black. I have like a sore right here. I have this sore right here. And then I have one under my chin. And obviously, because it's, it just happened, it's still sensitive 
to talk about but i don't know i may be vulnerable with y'all for a sec because i just keep thinking about it ever since it happened i just keep replaying it in my head and i think part of it is because i was i blacked out for the accident i don't even remember the accident or any of that it's like my body prepared me for the accident and that's why i wasn't even awake for it i wasn't the one that was driving but right before the accident it's like my body got like very tired all of a sudden like i wanted to go to sleep i don't know why i i thought maybe it was because like I, maybe I had a long day from being out all day. I don't know, but it was just like minutes before the accident happened. I just got very tired. And now looking back at it, I realized that that was just, that was God. As crazy as it sounds, that was God. Like he was preparing me for that moment. All I could say is I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful that we're still alive, that we made it out to little to no injuries, because I feel like the type of accident that it was, the car flipped three times. We should have came out with more injuries than we did, but we didn't. And I am so grateful for that. I feel so blessed. And I just think that is it's amazing because I'm just, I'm here. I'm still alive. I have all my limbs. I can walk. I can, I'm good. Like I just, these little scars, I, I'd rather take that over me not being able to walk again or me losing my life. I would take that, take this any day before that. I'm just, I don't know. Like I just can't stop thinking about it because Part of me is trying to put, you know, I'm trying to put the pieces together to figure out what happened, but it obviously doesn't make sense because it's not supposed to. Like, there's no other explanation for it than it was God. God, he, he had us covered. He protected us. And that's how we were able to get out with little to no injuries because of oh God. <sighs> It just it just gives me chills because I just can't stop thinking about it. Like this is my first car accident. I've never been in a in a car accident before. And so like it's it's definitely an eye opener for sure. My outlook on life is is very different now. I'm not gonna get too much into it. I just wanted to I don't even know if I'm going to post this clip. I'm just sitting here recording and talking. I don't even know. But I mean I just might because of course things happen i'm human and that's the whole point of me vlogging i'm sharing my life on the internet i know i know i don't have to share everything about myself and i won't but i feel like this is one of the things that you know it happened it's it's, it's a part of me now so why not really i've been feeling like real sensitive about my face because I'm just like, wow. But I mean, it is healing. It's looking way better than it was before because it was it was worse. Like, this eye was just all swollen. Like it was like closed. I couldn't even like really open it. And it was like darker than this. And then of course these up here, this was all scratched up. So it's healing. It's definitely looking better than it was. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm just grateful for life to be alive right now. Things could have went differently and it could have been way worse than they are. It's definitely put a delay on things. So this year I'm not even gonna really decorate my house for Christmas. I am gonna put the Christmas tree up and I did buy like one Christmas pillow <laughs> for the couch, but I already feel like it's too late. Like it's, it's December 9th, that's too late to me. Next year, I'm gonna be on it my christmas decorations is gonna go up day after thanksgiving like i'm not playing around not playing no games but this year i already feel like it's, it's too late and part of it is because of the accident it had me sitting out for a little bit so but you know it's okay i'm just happy to still be here but that's all i wanted to talk about um i'm getting tired so i'm about to get ready for bed i will talk to y'all tomorrow
Hey y'all, it is a couple days later. Today is Sunday. All day I pretty much, you know, just been getting the house back together, a little Sunday reset. We just mopped all the floors in the house. I just came back from grocery shopping to find something to cook tonight. I'm still kind of learning how to grocery shop. I feel like I got a lot of miscellaneous things. It's stuff that I know that we're gonna need, but at the same time, nothing really goes together, if that makes sense. Like, I got everything that I wanna cook today, but nothing else for like, if I wanted to cook tomorrow or the next day, I would have to go back to the store and get some. I also got some stuff that's non-food related. If you shop at Aldi, you know that I'll, it always gets you, it's a trap. Every time you go down that aisle, you find something and you end up getting it. It get me every time. But I did get like some stuff that would be essential for the house. I got this um, scented hand lotion and hand wash. So I got this one in the scent of bergamot orange. And then it comes with the, I really got it because it was a set and it comes with this little holder and I thought that was cute so I got that one and I got another one in the scent of jasmine amber so I'm gonna put one in the kitchen and then the other one in the bathroom and I really was looking for a candle but they didn't have any of the scents that I like I don't really like you know the fall scents the cinnamon and I don't like them kind of scents. I wanted like something fresh, but they didn't have any of that. It's all like holiday. So I ended up just getting this diffuser. I thought that this is really cute. And they had like different colors, but obviously I like the gold. I just bought a lavender essential oil to go with it. So to use that i don't know if i'm gonna put this in the bedroom or in the living room i'm not sure yet that's my little haul i'm about to put these groceries away and start cooking we both had a taste for fish so that's what i'm about to make some fish today i usually don't get tilapia or cod but i did not want to go to another store and that's all they had i mean there's nothing wrong with it but i just prefer swai or whiting we finally also got some silverware like i never thought i would be so happy to get some silverware but i got tired of using plastic forks and spoons i'm so happy so i just ordered something off of amazon it also came it also came with the holder so I just got done washing all of the silverware in the holder and I'm about to put everything away. All right, I just put all this silverware in. I ain't even put it in there and neatly or none of that. I just, <laughs> just threw them in there. But I'm about to see if it's going to fit in the drawer because I didn't do no type of measurements. I just ordered it and was hoping that it would fit in the drawer. But we about to see. Okay, it fits perfectly. I got a little a little room but it's still good let's see if i can add like my other stuff like this and then my knife and then measuring cups let me see if i can add those in there too without it looking all crowded okay that ain't bad you don't have to do for now yeah that's the civil weird it is the next day i just got home from being out i went to my little brother's basketball game and then afterwards me and my mom went out and we went to a couple stores so i'm about to do a little haul for y'all the first store is ross the first thing i got is this little trash can i'm gonna put this in the bathroom just a little silver trash can that was cute got some loofahs because i seen they were only $3.99 for a two pack so i just grabbed them then i got this facial brush and this was only 3.99 as well i found this egg holder it holds 40 eggs i thought that was so cute and it has like the drawers that come out this little sponge holder to put in the sink in the kitchen it was only $1.99. I was looking for trays to put on the coffee table and one on the island in the kitchen. So I found these two. So this is the one that I'm going to put on the coffee table. It's um, it's gold and it has the mirror. I thought that was so cute. This one is marble. 
and it also turns so it's like one of those i thought this was nice but this is real heavy I got one of these for the kitchen as you know you put it on the counter and you could put your utensils on while you're cooking so i got one of those just a plain white one and i think that is it for ross then we went to this place called roses and nothing too much i just got two of these hampers got these gray these gray curtains gray and like silver silverish curtains those are going to go in the kitchen i was trying to figure out what color to put in the kitchen for the longest but it looked like i'm gonna be doing gray because everything is pretty much gray so I got this gray rug and then this color i couldn't decide which one i wanted to put in the bathroom so i got both and whichever one i don't use i may put this in the kitchen i don't know yet so i just grab both four plate sets this color to put on the kitchen table and then i just wanted to grab a candle so i just got this candle it was only 3.99 and it's called moonlight surf so i'm probably gonna put this on the coffee table onto the tray but just so i can like get a vision of what all i want to put on the trays i also got this mat for in the kitchen too so that is everything that i got today I also got some other stuff that I got the other day from Burlington. I went to Big Lots first and I found this welcome mat because I needed a new one. So got this, but then I was mad because when I went to Burlington's, I found some even bigger and better ones for cheaper, but it's okay. This one was only $11.99. The bigger ones at Burlington's were only $8.99, but I found this gold curtain bra at Big Lots. I thought that was a cute color, but then I ended up finding this one at Burlington. This is supposed to go in the living room, so I'm going to put this one in the living room, and I'm going to go get another one of these and put these in the bedroom. This one looks so much better. I'm like, yeah, this belongs in the living room. My aunt got me these curtains. It's this color. I mean, these to go into, into the living room. But that is everything that I got today. I'm about to start putting stuff up and see how they look. I just cleaned this egg holder and now I'm about to fill it up with eggs. I'm mad because I had this big old car full of eggs and now this is how much I got left. As you can see, we use a lot of eggs, but. <laughs> left need to fill up this 40. so that is how it is looking in the refrigerator right here nice and sleek out the way i do want to get some more containers to put stuff in like i have the fruit down there you can't even see i have the fruit down there i do want to get it like put the lemons and oranges in different containers but for right now that's how I got it and I just got all the bottled water down there. Next I'm gonna put this mat in front of the sink. That's gonna go like that. And then I didn't know if I wanted to put this in front of the stove. Should I put this right here or right here? Like what y'all think? Should I put it like this? Or, well, I think I'm more so leaning towards right here. I think it would look better like that. I don't know. For right now, I think I'm gonna. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to do something here. Can you get off the mat, please? Excuse me move girl i think i'm gonna leave it like this for now and then if i feel different i'll change it or i'll get another mat to go over there i don't know yet but right now it's just gonna stay like that it's gonna go on here 
I was worried that this pattern was gonna throw it off on the island, but it actually doesn't look that bad. I don't know if I wanna center it in the island or maybe I should like bring it over more, but I plan to like put like a plant on here in a vase, maybe a candle and then maybe like a small decorative item. I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah, I got these placemats for this table and they are too big for this little round table. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I thought that they were gonna fit, but no, it's not really working out that way. I don't know if I should just do two for now, but I don't know, those don't look right to me. Just to have two on there when it's four chairs, it should be four plate settings. And then I was gonna put like a centerpiece in the middle, but now I don't know. Like I said, this is not even my table anyways. I plan to get like a gray rectangular table, a wooden one, but this is what I wanted to do for now, but it doesn't look like that's gonna work out. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to come back to that. So this is the tray on the coffee table. It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I did have another gold tray that I was going to get, but my mom thought it would be too big for this table. But now I'm thinking I should have got that one. If not, I can always find a different one and put this tray somewhere else. I don't know, but for right now, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put the candle on there or if I wanted to put the diffuser just for show because this obviously has to get plugged in, but I have nowhere to plug it in at and set it on. This is the only table that's in the living room. I plan on putting a console table over here in that corner, but for right now, this don't even look right. So I think I'm just gonna leave the candle on there by itself for now. And oh, that's that one Christmas pillow that I said I had. I thought that was cute, so I got that pillow. I got that from Burlington's. I just added this rug into the bathroom. I don't know how I feel about it because as you can see, this bath mat and the shower curtain go great together. And I thought that this had the colors in it. It kind of do, but I don't know. Like it's, it's kind of throwing me off. I'm probably not gonna make a big deal out of it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I put the trash can in there what the bathroom looks like for right now i just have to i'm probably going to get something a picture to hang up over here and a picture to hang up over here i do have matching towels to go on here to match with the this color but they're in the washer right now and then i'm going to put like a picture up here as well you know i hate this mirror so much like i got permission to change this mirror because i hate it like Ew, but I am currently looking for a new mirror to put in. I'm just gonna find like a, a plain mirror, white frame mirror to go up because yeah, I can't stand this mirror. But if it wasn't for my aunt getting me this color, I probably wouldn't have even got this color. I didn't even know what color I was gonna put in the bathroom, but she just decided for me and it actually turned out cute. I like this color. So that's the color scheme going on in the bathroom. Probably about to take this red and silver curtain down and put my new ones up because this is not going with the living room vibe. I think I'm about to take them down now. Alright y'all, this is what the living room is looking like for right now. I got the curtains up. I think they are so cute. They do need to be pressed out a little bit because yeah, they're wrinkled at the bottom. So I ended up just putting the candle on the coffee table inside the tray i think i am going to end up getting a bigger tray because i wanted to put the tv remotes and stuff in there once we do get a tv in the living room i don't know or i don't know i may just keep it like that i have to get more pillows for the couch you can kind of already tell what the color scheme of the living room is going to be it's going to be gold um blush and blue i don't know if it's going to be this color blue or a lighter color and then with white and gray i did find some pillows that's 
that has all of those colors in them so i'm going to get those and then i just have to find like a picture to go up here over the couch also my christmas tree got delivered today and i'm kind of nervous because look how big this box is and this is supposed to be a six foot tree like i'm a little nervous but we're gonna see when i open it up i'll probably show y'all the christmas tree in a different video because i don't have everything to go on there i don't have a christmas tree topper i don't have lights to go on there i just went and picked these ornaments up so that's all i have so i'll probably show y'all in a different vlog uh, what the tree looks like it's a white tree and then yeah these are the colors that i'm gonna put on there i was looking for like maybe the blush color and some blue but i did not see any at the store that i was at so if i run into some at a different store then cool but if not i don't know i'm not doing too much this year because it's already late i just want to get at least a tree up and call it day but i think i'm going to end this vlog here thank you guys for watching if you enjoy watching this video please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video